Sagittarius, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of April 8th through the 15th. We're going to take a look at your overall general energy, the hidden truth, and get some important advice from spirit. Thank you for tuning in today, for sharing this space with me. As always, I really appreciate all the support, comments, likes, subscribes. Thank you for being here with me today. Most especially, it's the time we spend together here that um, I hold so dear. Okay. And thank you, Spirit, for presiding over this reading for Sagittarius. All right, we're going to get into the energetic frequencies for the week through the Spirit Daughter Oracle deck here. Releasing judgment. Okay. First frequency. Releasing. Ooh. Everyone's getting quite a bit of these. We're going to do a quick four and then we're going to jump into the tarot. Releasing judgment. I'm open to seeing the infinite beauty within and around me. It's a good message right there. Letting go. Cat, discarding our judgments, our preconceived notions around other people. Right? Taking a view through innocent eyes. Releasing perfection. I love my imperfections for they make me real. Mm, beautiful. Doing some deep, deep releasing this week. New love. Sag, I am open to love in all forms. We've got a new vibration of love coming in. And receive wisdom. I am open to receiving guidance from myself and the universe. Very high priestess, ace of cups kind of vibe. Letting go of your judgments and preconceived notions around the ways things should be. Releasing, I'm getting you really tapping into releasing control this week as you come into a new love vibe connection. All right. Let's see what the tarot has to say, Sag. You know, sometimes when we start doing that love dance, right, either, either new or old, it can bring up these judgments. Right, of ourselves and others as we look at our patterning and our wounding. And you're doing the work to really come from a stable place, a grounded place, Sag. Let's see. You could be really working on your monetary success, looking at how to increase your income or seeing your income increase and being delighted about that. Making more money, feeling more successful, Sag. Ten of Swords in the past. Definitely experience some sort of ending. Ooh, def yeah, with the world. You're, you're stepping off into a new cosmic journey, wrapping up an old cosmic journey where you had a more painful experience of um, perhaps around love. We'll see what that's about. Ooh, in the near future, we have the devil. Some fears that are coming up as you approach this new... You know, the thing about whenever we are in a new cycle, okay, wrapping up an old... This is a very powerful energy because it, it carries all of the major arcana of the deck. These are all the lessons. So you carry in this card the Hierophant, the High Priestess, the Fool, every single one of them. It's like if you gathered up all of those energies and you put them in a room, you're getting all of their energy, all of their advice, all of their counsel. Because as that Fool goes on the journey, they're encountering all of these energies on the journey. You know, it's the hero's journey. So you've been learning through pain in your past. And I think that when we learn through pain, it is our duty and our <laughs> the weight and the mantle that we carry of painful experiences is not allowing them to distort our perception of our future. So I think you're really working on that this week, releasing judgment, self-judgment, releasing imperfections, especially through the lens of pain, recent pain. So you can step off into a new journey, and I think you're going to have something come up at fear that needs to be looked at, okay? Overall general energy, Ace of Cups, because you are opening up into new love. And that can be scary, okay? Especially if you're carrying old wounds with you in. Knowingly or not, Page of Cups, let's remain innocent around love, okay, Sag? Stay ever so hopeful and innocent. Look, she's just looking at this goldfish like, this is so cool, look at this goldfish. You know, having a moment in her heart being tender with, with something that's more precious and vulnerable and fragile than her. Interesting. You could feel a little bit more fragile, Sag. Needing more love. Needing to... And that queen of wands, wow, at the bottom of the deck is... 
you could be a trap in a more attractive frequency this week that you could have people that are being drawn to you from your past people that are being drawn to you presently and trying to decipher people's intentions I think is going to be um, your step tiptoeing lightly around people this week wondering are you a uh, are you friendly or are you a foe kind of thing are you safe or are you not there's some questioning going on the Hierophant you want to give to something that I think that you have a long-term commitment on your mind and you're willing to take your time to get there let's see what this is about you definitely you're either in a long-term commitment that's been weathering a lot or you have or are opening up into a new love contract with the hopes that it will deepen <clears throat> why is the ace of cups the overall general energy for the second week of april for sag spirit why is this here another page of cups the three of wands and the ace of swords you know you are going to be granted an opportunity for clarity this week if you've been uncertain and you went through a recent ending in your life and you're opening up to new love you it's it's like you're waiting it's there there could be somebody who's offering you know asking you out wanting to spend time with you or at least exchanging energy with you and you're putting some distance between you and this person so you can be clear about their intentions I feel like you you want this, but you're like still like I I, I want to get clear on this like your intentions here, and I think because you're really um, I feel you being guarded here, Sag, and it's okay. Some of you are are really wanting to be one hundred percent certain about a new love coming towards you, that you will, are willing to be patient. And you're not going to just take the first offer that comes to you because you have experienced pain in the past. Yeah, you want whoever you want to come towards you. You could have someone who's um, more earth-based, really interested in you. And um, there's some sort of waiting going on on a love offer and you want more clarity around it. Maybe someone that you're curious about that you have a crush on for some of you. Recent past, the hermit, the five of cups, and the chariot. Yeah, this makes sense. For a lot of you, you recently went through an ending and you've been going within, really healing and learning and releasing the grief of this ending. And it didn't have to be around love. It, it had to do with you letting go of someone in your life, okay? Someone that you felt perhaps a bit wronged by. And you learned a lot of lessons from it, okay? I feel you... There were a lot of hidden things in this connection in the past, okay? Some of you are trying to renew a love that was on, has been on the brink of an ending. And you're trying to do the cleanup work and bringing in every tool you have in your toolbox to navigate this. Let's see. I want to keep going because I'm not sure if this is a brand new person or someone trying to come back. Ooh, yeah, this is a lot of you. This is someone trying to come back, Sag. Uh, with the world presently, we have the Queen of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. So you are showing me that you're, you're being guarded about somebody trying to make contact with you, perhaps start a new cycle with you, someone that you have a very strong pull towards. Is it an unhealthy pull? Because there's some trust issues here. Uh, a lot of you, this is the someone that you've been dealing with, that you've been grieving, that there's been a pause over this connection. You want to put love towards this, but you, you want clarity before you open up to this person again. Someone hurts you, Sag. And whether you decide to be with this person or not, what I'm seeing clearly is that you have love for this person. You want an apology. You want someone to come up clean and clear. And you're not sure. So you're not sure if you can even trust what we saw here. You know, being, um, what was this? Sorry, I can't see without my glasses. Receiving wisdom around new love. Releasing perfections and judgment. So 
Some of you, this could be a new person approaching you, but because of your past, yeah, some of you, this is not your past person. Some of you, this is someone who's new, but you're like, you've been so jaded and hurt by other people that you're trying not to be though. It's like you're aware that you're more guarded and you're more cynical. And because you've seen the follies of love here and, and what it could get do to your heart, the way it can annihilate you. Sometimes we go through a lot of painful experiences or toxicity or whatever you want to call your past baggage around your love life. And it really informs how new connections form around us and how we respond to them in our perceptions. So you're showing me that you're like, this person's very attractive. I bet they're getting a lot of attention. I need to be careful because I don't know if I can trust them. You know, are they, do they have ulterior motives? And, you know, are they manipulating me in any way? So these are kind of the questions going through your mind because of the past, other than, oh, wow, this person's so beautiful and amazing. And wow, you know, I, I, I'm so excited to get to meet them and know them. And I'm so clear this is someone that I want to be with. And you feel the difference? So it's, you're teetering between these two perspectives of I'm open and innocent and, or I'm jaded and closed. And I think you're somewhere in the middle, which is a pretty healthy perspective, right? We don't want to be so like innocent and naive where we're going to not see if someone has ill intentions, okay? Or the ability to manipulate, okay? So you're learning here. You could have a tower moment approaching Sag around someone, okay, this week. What's the devil? Some sudden shifts. And it has to do with your perception. Your perception. Yeah. Some of you are contending with some toxicity in someone around you, and it's causing friction. And you're getting upset because I am seeing more of a prevalence here of you opening up to love, wanting clarity wanting to know what someone really wants. Like, what, what do you want to do here? Because you're getting, you've been hurt by this person before. A lot of you, this is someone that you're still dealing with or they're coming, making a comeback, okay? This Knight of Wands is a very unreliable energy in the tarot because it's an in and out energy and it creates an on and off pattern where it just doesn't feel balanced. It doesn't feel safe. You don't feel like a sense of ease. There's nervous system dysregulation. There's anxiety. There's stress. So really hone in on whether this person, find, get clear, ask the questions. There's nothing wrong with asking questions of anyone at any time. What are your intentions? What do you want here? You get clear about what you want, Sag. Write it out if you need to. I would like to have a commitment with this person. You know, X, Y, Z, whatever they are. And see if they're aligned with that. And if they're just giving you lip service, really trust what your intuition is picking up, okay? Because I do sense that there's either fear coming up because someone is showing you some toxic behaviors and it's creating conflict because when you confront it, I mean, the justice card is a court of law where people are being questioned and getting to the truth. So I think you're wanting to get to the truth of this behavior, wondering what is, what's the deal? Like, is this person unhealthy? Is there so much going on in this person's life? Is this healthy for me? And I think that's what you're asking of the situation and of yourself to get really clear and honest about what's going on here because you have been grieving some sort of painful ending and you're either calling in somebody new that you're not sure you can trust or you're still dealing with this past person and it's creating like this sense of unease in you this week, Sag. And in the near future, it's like spiking even more. If you're pushing against an energy and you're manifesting clarity and they're the ones spinning distortions, What's this page of cups? It's going to tell me. They could be coming in and apologizing after some, a pause, wanting to give you love, saying all the right things, but then in the future, their actions are really contradictory. Yeah, I think a lot of you 
are in that weeble wobble in a connection when there's a fatal blow and to you seeing that this is the right path for you where you're seriously like, I don't know. You're going to go from, I don't know at the beginning of this week to no. The hidden truth here, whether you want to see it or not, is your justice is recognizing the toxic ways someone may be showing up in your life and you allowing it. And starting to get a handle on you gaining access to a brand new beginning where you let something end so you can find happiness and satisfaction again. And this is, this is self-forgiveness too. I think that you're, you're going you're gonna to reach this experience this week where you're going to get clarity you're going to overcome something that has been a very difficult struggle for you to release. You were wrapping up a cycle with someone that has been really difficult because of their behavior, their confusing behavior, their bewildering behavior. And you've grieved over it. You've cried tears over it. You've questioned it. You have fought over it. You've tried to get justice, get to the truth. And at the end of the day, you're going to step off into a brand new beginning, loving yourself enough to walk away, put your distance between you and them, getting the clarity that you deserve to live your life on your own terms, finding happiness and satisfaction on your own in a brand new beginning, letting what die, what must die, must die. And I think you're going to be severing a soul tie this week and blocking it out and saying no, putting up healthy boundaries around a king of wands is the order of the day, Sag. And I'm sorry to say, but I think that's what you're going to be doing this week. Let's get some advice from Spirit here on how to proceed. Yeah, because you, you're realizing now I must not waste my precious energy on this anymore because you have other things to nurture. You have other things to cultivate, okay? Empress energy is your empowerment, Sag. Don't let anyone steal your peace. And this person has over and over and over. It's the, it's the monkey mind and the stress and the doubt and the fear and the worry of connections that aren't nourishing your soul. It's not even, it's not even about serving you anymore. It's, is this person nourishing your soul? You're saying, I am manifesting something much bigger and better than this. And it's, it's hard to release people who fail us and disappoint us, but you are slowly but surely walking towards your Empress energy here, Knight of Pentacles, Empress. And Spirit is saying, bravo, you can do this. You were strong enough. You were strong enough to put a stop to this, Sag. You are, sweetheart. Yep. Here we go. There's the boundary. Yep. Your stability is all that matters from now on, especially around this individual. This feels like somebody who is lost. There are lost souls in this world, people, okay? There are. And we can nurture them. We can try to rescue them. We can put our arms around them for only so long until you feel like you have an energetic vampire in your life stealing your precious energy. And you're saying, I got to safeguard what's mine. Even your finances might be getting drained by this experience, because sometimes when we go through all this drama and trauma and, a, and a, this feels like a trauma bond, we can't even like focus on work. We can't even focus on the stability that we're trying to create in our lives because it's a drain. So you know what, Sag? You are going to be putting up healthy boundaries this week. Spirit is saying you can do this. You have gonna, you're going to be so much happier once you walk away from this experience and this dynamic. Let it end. This is coming to a close. You can't trust this to yield the nourishment of your soul. And you've tried again and again and again. The message is clear. This is ending. You're stepping off into a brand new beginning. This is the most, one of the most clearest, like, wrap this up. It's time to wrap it up, Sag, okay? It serves what it served. You got something beautiful out of it. Something, there was some sort of silver lining in this in your growth and in your lesson. And this is, these are the bonds that are the hardest to break. Telling you, I've been here, I know, and I, my heart goes out to you because I have been here more than once. 
And it is the hardest thing to do is to let people go that you know you can't save. Because then you end up, in the end, what's funny is you try to save someone and then you end up needing to save yourself. Changes at the bottom. Change, we're gonna, yeah, <laughs> they want me to take it. Changes at the bottom. Great change, Sag, great, massive change. The frequency of change supports our ability to gracefully dance with the forever changing nature of reality, both inward and outward, so that we can appreciate the sweet release of the old. This is the sweet release of the old, Sag, and the birth of the new. Sweetly release the old. Kiss it with your compassion and forgiveness and know that it's time to nourish you and give your precious energy to the connections that nourish you, that don't take away from you, Sag, because your energy is so freaking precious. I love you, Sages. Lightworker energy, starseed, earth guide, your sacred calling upon this planet is to simply love and be loved. And that's, and I get it. We love so deeply and truly. And all you wanted was to be loved here. And I'm sorry that someone couldn't give that to you in a healthy way because they were not healthy in themselves. The universe speaks to you through your dreams. You could be getting really important dreams this week. Know that you're being held deeply by the love of the planet, okay? Get out there and soak up that light of the sun and the moon, blue flame. Connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you, okay? Connect to your own light. Blue flame love, okay? You're being safely held by your, your spirit team, your angels, your ancestors this week as you sever a toxic tie. Okay, Sag, sending you so much love. You can do this. I am here for you. If anyone needs any help, I do readings. Anything you need, I am here, okay? And I'm so sorry. I know exactly how hard this is. You can do this. You will be so much better when you make this clean cut and say, once and for all, I'm done with this. Okay, sending love.